Osteoarthritis is a common, chronic, degenerative joint disease. It mainly impacts the weight-bearing joints, such as the knees, hips, and spine, as well as the hands. Osteoarthritis develops due to the wear and tear of cartilage due to repetitive overuse of a joint. As the cartilage breaks down, inflammatory processes within the joint occur, causing the joints to swell and become stiff and painful. The joint spaces continue to narrow, resulting in reduced mobility. Factors such as age, obesity, genetics, joint injuries, and repetitive joint stress heighten the risk of developing osteoarthritis. Common symptoms include asymmetrical joint pain, especially after activity or long periods of rest, stiffness, reduced mobility, and crepitus, which is a grating sound during joint movement. Osteoarthritis is diagnosed using x-rays to identify joint damage. MRIs may be performed for a detailed assessment of cartilage and joint integrity. Medical treatment of osteoarthritis includes medications to alleviate pain and inflammation. Acetaminophen is commonly used for pain relief, whereas NSAIDs like ibuprofen and silicoxib are prescribed to address inflammation as well as pain. Topical medications containing lidocaine, capsaicin, or diclofenac gel offer localized pain relief. In some cases, hyaluronic acid injections or glucosamine chondroitin supplements are used to slow the progression of cartilage breakdown. In severe cases, injections of corticosteroids directly into the affected joint can provide short-term pain relief and reduce inflammation. Physical therapy helps improve joint flexibility, strength, and range of motion. Therapists may also use modalities like heat, ice, or ultrasound for pain relief. In some cases, assistive devices like canes, braces, or splints can help reduce stress on affected joints and improve the client's mobility. Surgical interventions such as arthroscopy, arthroplasty, or joint fusion are considered when conservative treatments fail. Arthroscopy is a minimally invasive surgical procedure in which an endoscope is inserted into the joint through a small incision. Small surgical instruments are inserted via additional incisions to remove or repair ligaments and other joint structures. Arthroplasty refers to joint replacement surgery, an invasive procedure requiring extended recovery time. Hip precautions are implemented after hip replacement surgery and taught to the client to avoid dislocation of the new hip joint. Hip precautions include avoiding crossing the legs or feet, sleeping with a pillow between the legs, not flexing the hip more than 90 degrees, and not rotating the hip or leg inward toward the body. Nursing interventions focus on pain management, enhancing mobility, and providing health teaching. Nurses assess the client's pain level and evaluate their response to prescribed medications. Clients are educated about the proper use of prescribed pain medications, potential side effects, and non-pharmacological pain management techniques like heat-cold therapy or guided imagery. Nurses collaborate with physical therapists and reinforce personalized exercise programs focusing on joint mobility, flexibility, and strengthening. Clients are also taught proper body mechanics to reduce joint strain during daily activities. If assistive devices like canes, braces, or walkers are prescribed, nurses reinforce their safe and effective use to improve mobility and reduce stress on affected joints. Nurses provide health teaching about osteoarthritis, including its progression, treatment options, and self-care strategies. Guidance on lifestyle changes like weight management, healthy eating habits, and regular exercise is provided. Potential fall hazards in the home are discussed and recommendations made for preventing falls, such as removing throw rugs. Nurses evaluate interventions by reviewing the effectiveness of treatment for pain management, functional mobility, and the ability to complete activities of daily living. Nurses revise the nursing care plan as indicated and collaborate with multidisciplinary team members to revise interventions and promote quality of life.